Easter Sunday. I have my Easter egg here, ready to gobble up once I've recorded this piece to camera. But just in case something happens to this Easter egg, I also have another one, just in case. And a bit later on, I'm going to be flying off on holiday, and I'll have a third Easter egg to eat in the sky. You could say that's going to be my cloud-based Easter egg. So why am I talking absolute nonsense? Well, today is also World Backup Day. It's a reminder of the possibility of data loss from human error, system failure, or malicious intent. And I'm gonna briefly explain how I try to protect my precious photos during the process of taking and editing them. Okay, so let's start with the camera. If you're taking pictures for a living, you'll likely have two memory card slots in your camera. They aren't there just to allow you to store twice as many photos in your camera. They're the first line of defense for your backup strategy. Have your camera write the same thing onto both cards, and if one goes wrong, well, you'll still have the pictures on the other card. Okay, so now you have to get your photos onto your computer. I use Photo Mechanic, and there's an option there to upload your photos to two locations. If you use another tool such as Adobe Lightroom, then the same things are also available there too. <clears throat> Put one version onto your hard drive, and the second one can be copied to an external hard drive. So, now we have four versions of the same picture in four different locations, but we're still not going to delete anything yet. What happens if there's a fire in your home? The two memory cards, computer and external drive have all gone up in smoke. Well, that's all your photos lost. So the final phase of my backup strategy is to back up the photos on the external hard drive to a cloud-based service. I use Backblaze for a couple of reasons. One, it's cheap, $99 for years of limited backup. Two, it's fast. I've got gigabit internet and a day shooting is backed up in just a few minutes. And three, it's reliable. Thankfully, I've never to use Backblaze in anger to restore files, but I know people who have and they can attest to its reliability. So that's the photos backed up, but I think we might be missing something else. All my photos are stored inside a Lightroom catalog. So what happens if something goes wrong there? Well, that's why you should also take regular backups of the Lightroom catalogs. You can set up the frequency of Lightroom catalog backups in the Lightroom catalog settings menu. Once a week is usually enough for me. But whatever you do, don't ignore the pop-ups reminding you to take the backup. I save my catalogue backups into a Dropbox folder. That way the catalogue backup is backed up to the Dropbox server and Backblaze is also taking a copy as well. Once my system was set up, I only felt like I was backing up when I pressed the OK button to tell Lightroom to take the weekly backup. So, when is it safe to delete things? I'll format my memory cards once I've confirmed they have been backed up to Backblaze. I'll move my photos off my laptop's hard drive a full three months after they've been taken. And I do this as a monthly task. I know they've already been backed up to my external drive and Backblaze. And finally, I'll delete a Lightroom catalog backup when it becomes four generations old. That is, when there's three younger backups than the one I am deleting. This might seem like overkill, but it won't if something goes wrong. I've been able to pull back photos I've taken for clients over 10 years ago, and I've never lost a shot. It's really not worth the stress of not backing up. Now, where did I put that Easter egg? Ah oh well, I'll just leave the backup one instead. So if you are interested in using Backblaze, I have added a referral code below. And I'd love it if you could like and share this video, either click in this corner or use the link below the video. My name's Rich Dyson from Coffee Break Photography. Have a great Easter.